Hello children, how are you all? Have you studied what I have taught in the earlier section? Have you done the homework? Now let's continue with our chapter in the years. Today's section we will study about the division of integers. Division of a positive integer by a positive integer. Division of a negative integer by a negative integer. Division of a positive integer by a negative integer or division of a negative integer by a positive integer. Now look at the picture given. In the figure you can see that when we divide a positive integer by a positive integer, we get the answer as a positive integer. Likewise, when we are dividing a negative integer with a negative integer, we get a positive integer. Again, look at the third one. When we divide a positive integer by a negative integer, we get a negative integer. Also, when we divide a negative integer with a positive integer, we get a negative integer. Now, let me explain it. First one was division of a positive integer by a positive integer. When we divide a positive number by a positive number, we get the answer as a positive number itself. So, let's do an example. Consider the numbers 6 and 2. We have to divide these. Here, look at this. 6 and 2 are both positive integers. So, when we divide this, we get the answer as 3. When we divide 6 by 2, we get the answer as 3. And again, we get the answer as a positive number. So, when we divide a positive number with a positive number, we get the answer as a positive integer. Now, let's do another example. Consider the numbers 9 and 3. When we divide 9 by 3, we get the answer as 3 itself. So, we can see that 3 is a positive integer. So, from this you can say that when we are dividing a positive integer by a positive integer, we get the answer as a positive integer itself. Next one is division of a negative integer by a negative integer. When we divide a negative integer by a negative integer, we get a positive integer. Now, let me explain it with an example. Consider the numbers minus 12 and minus 4. When we divide minus 12 with minus 4, what we will get? We should consider the division with, as a whole number and then put the sign. So, what we will get when we divide 12 by 4? We will get the answer as 3. Then, minus divided by minus, we get the answer as a plus. So, our sign will be plus. When we divide a negative integer with a negative integer, we get the answer as a positive integer. Consider the numbers minus 60 and 10. Sorry, minus 10. So, when we are dividing these numbers, what we should do? We should divide 60 by 10. 60 by 10, we will get the answer as 6. Then we have to check for the sign. Dividing a negative integer with a negative integer, we get the answer as a positive integer. So, we should put the plus sign. So, our answer will be plus 6. Now, what about the next one? Division of a positive integer by a negative integer or division of a negative integer by a positive integer. When we divide a negative integer by a positive integer or vice versa, we get a negative number. We divide them as a whole number and put a negative sign before the answer. What, would, what we do here is we divide them as a whole number and then put the minus sign before the answer. Consider the numbers minus 15 and 3. When we are dividing minus 15 by 3, what we should do? We should divide them as a whole number. 
So, what will be the answer for 15 divided by 3? It will be 5. Then what we should do? We should put a negative sign in front of that. So, we will get the answer as minus 5. What about the next one? It is 49 and minus 7. When we are dividing 49 by minus 7, what will we get? You should consider this as a whole number. So, 49 by 7, we will get the answer as 7. And we should put the negative sign in front of this. So, we will get it as minus sign 7. Next is 30 divided by minus 6. So, we will divide 30 by 6 first. So, when we divide 30 by 6, what we will get? We will get 5 as the answer. Then what we should do? We should put a minus sign in front of this. So, we will get the answer as minus 5. And the last one is minus 18 and 2. When we divide minus 18 by 2, what we will get? We have to divide 18 by 2 and then put the minus sign. 18 divided by 2 will get the answer as 9. And once we got the answer, we have to put the minus sign. So, the answer will be minus 9. So, this is how we do the division. Now let's study about the properties under multiplication. The properties are, first one is the closure property or you can say that integers are closed under multiplication. Second one is multiplication is commutative for integers. Third one is multiplication is associative for integers. And the last one is distributive property. That is distributivity of multiplication over addition. First one is the closure property. Closure property states that when we multiply two integers, we get the answer as an integer itself. So, we, now I will explain with an example. Consider the number minus 3 and minus 4. If you are multiplying these two, what we will get? We know that minus 3 and minus 4 are integers. And we have already studied about the multiplication of integers. When we multiply two negative integers, we get a positive integer. Three minus three into minus four. We have to take them as a whole number and then put the sign. So three into four, we will get the answer as twelve. And what about the sign? It is a plus sign. So, we get it as plus 12. So, we multiplied two integers and we got an integer as the answer itself. How about the next one? It is 5 and minus 2. So, if you are multiplying 5 and minus 2, what we will get? We will get 5 into 2. We will get the answer as 10 and put the minus sign. So, we get the answer as minus 10. Here also, when we multiply two integers, we get the answer as an integer itself. That is what closure property states. Or, we can say that integers are closed under multiplication. Our next one is commutative property. Hmm? A into B is equal to B into A for any two integers A and B. First, we will consider the First two example, it is 3 and minus 5. When we are multiplying 3 and minus 5, what we will get? 3 into minus 5, we will get the answer as minus 15. 3 into 5, we will get the answer as 15. And when we put the sign, it get that it has minus 15. Now what about when we reverse the order? Minus 5 and 3. Now we will have to multiply them. 5 into 3 we will get the answer as 15. And when we put this sign it is minus 15. So both the sides have same answer. Minus 15 itself. 
So, this is what we have studied in the commutative property. So, we can say that multiplication is commutative for integers. Now, what about the next one? It is minus 1 and minus 6. When we multiply this, we get the answer as 1 into 6, we get it as 6 and minus into minus, it is plus. So, the answer is plus 6. How about when we reverse the order? Minus 6 into minus 1. 6 into 1, 6 and when we put the sign, minus into minus, it will be plus. So, here look at the bo both sides, it is plus 6 itself. So, we can say that multiplication is commutative for integers. Now, the next property is associative property. The product of three integers does not depend on the grouping of integers. Here, a into b into c is equal to a into b into c. So, the result won't change when we are grouping it. Now, I will explain it with an example. Consider the numbers minus 2 into 5. We are grouping the first two numbers and then keep multiplying it by the next number. We will check the answer. Minus 2 into 5, we get the answer as minus 10. And minus 10 into minus 9. 10 into 9, we get it as 90. Minus into minus, it will be plus. So, our answer is plus 90. What about when we are grouping the th second and third numbers? We will keep the first third itself and then group the second and third one. Minus 9. Minus 2 into 5 into minus 9. So, we will keep the minus 2 here itself. Then what about the result? 5 into minus 9. 5 into minus. So, we can do 5 into 9. We will get the answer as 45. And we have to put the sign. It is a negative sign. So, we will get the answer as minus 45. Now, we have to multiply minus 2 and minus 45. 2 into 45, we get the answer as 90. Minus into minus, it will be plus. So, here also we got the answer as plus 90. Look at both the sides. Both are same. So, we can say that multiplication is associative for integers. Now, we'll do the next one. It is 1 into minus 4 and then that will be multiplied by 10. When we are here also we are grouping the first two numbers. 1 into minus 4 our answer will be minus 4. Then into 10. Minus 4 into 10 we get the answer as minus 40. Now how about the next one? That is grouping the second and third numbers. We will keep one there itself and group the second and third one. Minus 4 into 10. 1 into minus 4 into 10. We will get the answer as minus 40. Then 1 into minus 40 what we will get? We will get 1 into 40. 40 and when we put the sign it will be a minus sign. So we get the answer as minus 40 itself. So, we can say that multiplication is associative for integers. Now, our last property is the distributive property. Look at the property for any three integers a, b and c. a into b plus c is equal to a into b plus b into c. Distributive property of multiplication over Addition. Now, let's do the first example. The left hand side of the first example is 5 into 10 plus 
one. Now we will add the numbers ten and one. So we will get the answer as five into ten plus one. It is eleven. So five into eleven. It is fifty five. So now we can check the right hand side. The numbers are five into ten plus five into one. Five into ten. What we will get? We will get the answer as fifty plus five into one. It will be five. Fifty plus five. We will get the answer as fifty-five. So look at both the sides. We got it as fifty-five. So this is what distributive property states. Now, do the next one. It is minus two into three plus five. Minus two into three plus five. Now we'll add the numbers three and five. We'll keep minus two here itself, and then add the numbers three and five. Three plus five, we get the answer as eight. So minus two into eight, we get the answer as minus sixteen. What about the right side? It is minus two into three plus minus two into five. Minus two into three, we will get the answer as minus six. No, plus minus two into five. Minus two into five. We will get the answer as minus ten. When we are adding two negative numbers, we get a negative number itself. So minus six plus minus ten, we get the answer as minus sixteen. Look at both the sides. Both the sides have minus sixteen as the answer. So this is the distributive property. Now with this. We end our today's session. Thank you and have a nice day.